Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video, you guys, first off and foremost, thank you so much. We have broken such a huge milestone today. 5,000 subscribers. Do you know how insane that is? Well, I do. And I appreciate it so much. I have never in my wildest dreams thought that there would be 5,000 people that were like, not only do I think that your opinion or your thoughts or your facts are good one time, I want to hear when you put them out a second time. Thank you, guys. That's insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As always, you guys, that is another 500 subscribers, another big to-do. So we will be doing a $20 Google Play giveaway sometime in this video. The topic for this video is rather important, and it may be the last video that you watch about the ants based off of how this event is going for you guys. And that is that this event is a marathon, not a race. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, I think it's something that a lot of people are struggling with. And it's something that is encouraged by comparison amongst your peers, which is something that a lot of people uh, struggle with. And unfortunately, I don't know how to combat it for everyone. Uh, this event is very fun for me. I've had a blast. Um, I'm enjoying the Alliance coordinating. I'm enjoying uh, coming on and talking to Alliance and hanging out. I'm enjoying doing everything that is awesome about this event. But uh, it does, for some people, require extreme dedication. It requires uh, staying up late and coming on early because they feel obligated to do PvP. Uh, it's causing a resource sink because you're not with your farms and you're still trying to do SVS along with constant PVP. Uh, and it's, it's a struggle. And instead of looking at yourself and not only yourself, right? Because I didn't have DMs on for three, four days and the number of high spending players that quit this game this last weekend is insane. And that's, because they looked at themselves instead of the Alliance. It doesn't matter how good you hit. It doesn't matter how strong you are. The Alliance is required in order to take this wonder. The Alliance is required in order to take a layer level five. The Alliance is required in order to take a residence. It's not going to be done by yourself. It's just not, it doesn't matter how strong you are. It doesn't matter how big of a whale you are. It's just not possible. And instead of looking at that, instead of having that realistic out outlook, people are looking at it and being like, no, I must be able to do this. Uh, other people can do this. Let me be able to do this. And that's not how this game is supposed to be. This is, again, a marathon and a team event. You should schedule times with your alliance so that way, right, for us when we were in the starting zone we had we took a tower at or a fortress at 06 or at 030 utc 0630 utc 1230 utc and 1830 utc didn't matter who was on didn't matter how it was on whatever the more people that were on the higher the layer of residence we would take the less people that were on, we'd take this, you know, level three layer, right? Level four layer. So that way everyone had a chance to participate and no one was sending in big units all the time. You should also be hitting within your means. If you have a bunch of T8 people, you should be taking layer level threes, maybe some layer level fours. You shouldn't be going for layer level fives, layer level sixes. You shouldn't be aiming for a wonder, right? Um, the costs in, of resources that it takes to heal your troops the costs of uh, resources it takes to rebuild those troops that die or that overflow the healing pool are not worth it compared to the rewards you get. So I just, I don't know how to touch on this subject without being uh, negative Nancy about it because I actually really enjoy this event. Um, but I think it's a message that needs to get out there. Trina, one of my Patreons and one of my uh, most active people in my Discord right now, 
uh, constantly says it. You need to stay in your lane. You need to continue to swim with your size of fish. But that doesn't mean your size of fish as is. That means your size of fish as your alliance. Your alliance matters. This event is an alliance building event. Now that we've talked about the negatives, let's talk about potential ways to change this. And I need this word sent out there, spread out there. I need people to get active. Set up a poll inside the official Discord, inside of the changes. Um, you know, message the GMs. If you're an SVIP, message them this video. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do uh, in order to get this message out there, get the message out there. Get the changes out there. You don't agree with my changes? You have a better one? Message them that. I have... A few recommended changes. Not all of them have to be listened to. Not all of them have to be done. But some number of them need to be done in order to ensure that everyone enjoys the game. Not just some. Not just the people that aren't as active, right? Because that's why I enjoyed the game on my alt. I just wasn't as active. So, the first change that I would recommend is that after, after the starting area, right? So the first seven days where no one can do PvP because you're time limited and all these tunnels are in bonus, right? Uh, just next to the season milestone that lowers the tunnels, in, have a season milestone that increases the stamina required in order to go to an alliance tower. Five stamina, 10 stamina, it doesn't matter. Why? Why would I want this change? Because the resource grind isn't real until you get to this point. The resource grind doesn't become uh, hitting wonders, hitting layers. It becomes fighting over alliance towers. Let me break it down. I'm down here at this wonder, right? And I have, you know, 100 durability left, one durability left. And I have 10 seconds left on demolishing my opponent's tower, right? That's hitting this wonder. If I demolish this tower, if I demolish the alliance tower, right, that... I'm imagining is right where my mouse cursor is. They, it doesn't matter if they're hitting here or not, they can't take my wonder because they're no longer attached to my building. What are you going to do in that instance? Are you going to do hit this wonder that may or may not defend it? They may still break through with their ability and costs you five stamina to go to, to reinforce, to support, right? If I click here, it's five stamina in order to go. Or am I going to hit that Alliance Tower that is zero stamina to march to? Am I going to hit that Alliance Tower that costs nothing but troops to hit and take down to 20%? You know what I mean? So that's where that resource grind comes in. That's where this uh, inconceivable desire that you have to be on to protect the towers, that you have to be on in order to prevent towers. There's no burnout, right? Um, you could be building a tower and taking towers for an hour and a half, one tower. Fighting for one tower for an hour and a half, two hours. Ask me how I know, right? So that'd be the first change. Make stamina the limiting issue. Uh, they fixed that by making everything that goes to wonders five stamina. That was huge, that was good. Uh, it makes things realistic when starting, but make towers also cost stamina so that way when pvp happens it's a limiting factor not in the first seven days right when that tunnel level five buff goes down make towers cost stamina so that way it can be a limiting factor and it's not just resource consumption another solution you guys that seems so obvious based off of kill event day based off of war of the kings any other situation where they force pvp where pvp is there is resource compensation now i'm not saying it has to be the same i'm not saying give back 100 percent resources i'm not saying give back resources at the end of every day or whatever i'm thinking like if you defeat x number of enemy troops right? You get the resources that it would cost for them to heal it. And they clearly keep track of that. They clearly know what it is, right? They, you have season achievements uh, where you have to take down uh, X number of 
uh, troops, right? So defeat 300,000 level 7 and above soldier ants of rulers from other alliances cumulatively. Right, so they clearly keep track of level 7 versus, uh, and quantity, right? It would be so easy, right, to just give back, right, in the same battle report, just include the resources for however many severely injured ants there are. Uh, on your opponent's side not on your side right so if you're attacking a losing battle you don't get all your resources back to heal but if you're attacking a winning battle give back those resources give back you know the amount of resources that it would take them to heal send it back to you so that way you can continue the event there's always like a reward for doing pvp at the right level that's just another another solution to an to a problem that doesn't need to be there every other pvp thing that they like insist on is compensated in some way you know uh so i would strongly recommend that that be one of the easiest fixes another change that they could make is that you can't ungarrison right uh, inside of Alliance Expedition, you can't ungarrison. It's not a thing. It makes it so easy right now for you to come here, right? They're fighting for this Alliance Tower. Another strategy is they can see this person, right? This, uh, let's pretend this diamond node is a person. This person's hitting my Alliance or my Wonder. Instead of trying to defend here or hit the Alliance Tower or build an Alliance Tower because it's already 10 out of 10 and you're working on dismantling it, zero this player now while that sends back people temporarily it takes five stamina in order to hit that player that player gets their stamina back because their march team was reinforced and all they use is another 2,000 diamonds in order to teleport back i have 327,000 diamonds did three hatch days back to back to back you best believe i got ninth chest and i bought max items from the vip store and this is only after one week. You think 2,000 diamonds matters to me? And now you're out? 10 stamina, 15 stamina, 20 stamina? You tell me, you think that matters to me? Make it so that way two marches have to be garrisoned. Right? One march has to be garrisoned. Something like that. Um, that way people can't do that. There is always something on the line. There's always a risk. Uh, that way, their limiting factor is also resources or is also that type of protection and not just 2,000 diamonds to teleport back to combat your 10 stamina, right? Because on average, it takes two hits to go from 17 back down to 0%. Another change that could be made to make this event a lot better two weeks instead of none or instead of six and a half right people innately want to compare themselves people innately push and desire to be competitive and that's what this game is about even me myself and i i, I want to be competitive right i have little limits and milestones but i want to be competitive for my pay range I want to be competitive for the person I am in the time that I've spent on this game. I want to be as efficient as possible. But even I can't be as efficient as possible for six and a half weeks. Even I start to slip up and it's my job to play this game. I love playing this game. This game is a blast to me. I'm having so much fun, if you want me to be honest. But... It's not realistic to have players on for 20, 30 hours a week to enjoy this game. People aren't built like that. They have 40 hour work weeks, kid that, kids that they need to take to bed, kids they need to take to sporting events, kids that they want to be there for for a concert or soccer event. They have school that they have to go to the next morning. They have classes and college appointments. They have a second job. This is supposed to be a de-stressor. Now, if they make this event once every three months, right? And it lasts two weeks instead of six and a half weeks. 
I can get behind that. That's common for a mobile game. That's a common thing is that you can make the event happen and it takes two weeks to do and your alliance gets to choose to participate just like this, but it's just two and a half weeks, two weeks. And then you can sprint, right? They can time gate everything. They can quadruple the speed of how many soldiers you get per hour, right? So that way it's still like the same timetable just shrunk. So that way timing doesn't have to be as exact. So that way you don't have to be as focused on your phone for as long. PVP lasts one week, right? You're missing out on a week of SVS or you aren't missing out on a week of SVS, but you're only doing PVP for a week. Servers have those rules. People have those rules. You can bubble for a week. You can enjoy the game mode for the first week. No PVP, enjoy alliance coordination, enjoy taking layers and wonders as an alliance, and then you can go back to the alliance blockhouse for a week and not stress about it and allow the PVP players to PVP. Make the event two weeks. Same results, same enjoyment, but two weeks. Allow players a chance to breathe. And on that note, allow players to quit. You don't want players to quit the game. I don't want my friends to quit this game because they don't enjoy the event as much as I do. I don't want my friends to quit the game because they wish that they could go back to their home island. I can't even look at my home island anymore. I can't see my farms without logging in. Not that I have farms, but I can't see other people's farms. I can't see other people's growths. If I go to the leaderboard, I don't have a way to look at other alliances, look at other anthills, upcoming powers, things like that. There's no way to compare myself to my entire other zone, the family that I've been building for the last six and a half, eight months. Allow players to leave because it's not what they wanted because your wife goes to the hospital and you can't play the game for another four days because your wife falls down and you need to help or because your child gets sick or there's an unexpected death being stuck in a game mode that you feel like you have to be you know super competitive min max to the extreme is not good and it's going to cause players to quit it has caused players to quit i turned my dms off for three to four days this weekend because i had a personal life issue that i had to get up to and deal with i turned them back on and the people that were quitting, the people that were leaving, the people that were in my DMs that I didn't get back to and I feel sorry that I didn't get a chance to respond were not the free-to-plays. They were not the low spenders. It was not the durability hitters. It was not the people that are there just to vibe. It was the high dollar spenders. It was the people that I will never be able to compete with because they couldn't keep up with the demands and the pressure that they felt because they wanted to be competitive at the highest tier possible. This is a marathon. This isn't a sprint. This isn't a five second race, you guys. Your alliance is your milestone. Your alliance is your measuring tool. If this event, if this medium isn't for you, go back to the alliance blockhouse. I urge you not to quit. I urge your alliance to go back to the blockhouse. Come vent in my Discord. Come vent at me. I encourage everyone to join the event. I like the event. But join, go back to the blockhouse. Do SVS. Hit your 20 wilds from the blockhouse in protest. Don't even view it as quitting the event. View it as protesting the event. View it as trying to stand up and show the developers what needs to happen. Again, y'all, please spread the video around. Spread it to the people that matter to you. Spread the video to your SVIPs if you're a high spender. Spread, spread the video to the official Discord and allow people to see the solutions to fixing the event. Spread it to uh, suggestions, right? Make a poll inside the official Discord. You don't even have to give me credit for some of the ideas. Just... Get it out there. Get people's voices heard. Allow people to enjoy the game and not make it feel like a job. 
allow it to be something enjoyable, allow it to be something people look forward to the way I do. Until next time, y'all. You can catch me in the YouTube comments. You can find me on Discord. I'm the most talkative person there. Or worst case scenario, you can find me on server 260 or server 7. The code word for the 5,000 subscriber video, if you guys have been listening this long, is going to be marathon. Until next time, y'all. Stay humble. Stay happy. Stay hungry. Bye, y'all.